guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just thought I'd give you like a little bit of an updated house tour-ish. So you guys know how much I love interiors and I also know how much you guys like watching those kind of videos. Loads of you have been asking what I have done in my kitchen recently because I've kind of given you little snippets of clues and um, yeah, but I haven't actually revealed the whole thing because I have been waiting for two final things to complete the look and they have finally arrived. So you guys know how I love my brick feature wall. You know the whole process because I posted about it before. If you haven't watched that, then I'll link it down below so you can go over and watch it because believe it or not, I did this whole wall by myself. So what I thought I'd do is carry that wall on into the kitchen to make it look like the two rooms are more together. And also because we had like two massive blank walls in our kitchen, I just thought it would feel a lot more kind of homely and warm in there. Just now, I got a really, really cool parcel which arrived, which is from Decenio. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Decenio. It's a website where you can go and buy loads of posters and frames and prints and things like that. So when I was looking at what I could put into the kitchen, I, in my mind, thought, right, well, it's a kitchen. Let's do something related to food. So I went on Decenio's website and I just googled like all different types of food and I found two amazing pieces which are quite dark and in my kitchen I've got like dove grey everywhere so I thought they would just fit really really well and then while I was on there I also found two more prints which I loved and I thought they were like really inspirational to me that I would put in my office but I'm not going to do like a kind of office tour today because it's not finished but I am going to show you the two prints so I'm going to open this parcel up now and I'm going to show you what I have got and what they look like up on the wall so let's see what we got. finally finished and I'm ready to give you a little bit of a kitchen tour. I thought I would do just a really brief kitchen tour for you guys because I know you really enjoy my room tours so I thought as it's changed as you can see I will do like a little tour for you guys. Before I get into the tour I just wanted to let you guys know that Decenio are offering my viewers 25% off pictures and posters. This doesn't include um, frames or hand-picked collaboration items so when you go on there just have a look and it will explain what it does include. So the one picture I'm going to show you in my office it definitely doesn't include I know that for sure so yeah just use the code Kerry at checkout and that will automatically give you your 25% off but it's only valid between the 5th of June today and the 7th of June 2018 so order quickly but anyway let's get straight on with my tour and hopefully you like what we've done to the kitchen So here is like a big overview of our kitchen. I absolutely love it. And so this is our island. It's really big. I think it's about two and a half meters. And I got these stools from eBay actually. I'll link everything down below though, what I am telling you. Loads of people have commented on my videos asking where they are from and I just love them. How cool are these? I mean, it's really hard not to get me in there and not to get loads of other like shadows and light from the doors coming in from outside. So this frame is garlic with broccoli and this one is artichokes. And I just thought together, because they're nice and dark, they really kind of went well on that gray wall behind them and then what we decided to do was carry on our brick slips that were in our extension room onto this wall here so it just made the two rooms tie in together a bit more these are from coochie designs again I will link them below and this shelf is from the farthing it's like an industrial looking shelf it's got like copper piping 
to go into the wall and then we have hung five Le Creuset mugs underneath. What I love about this is that it's also got this little shelf here. We've got a picture of Amsterdam. I've got my Le Creuset um, coffee pot and also this hanging ivy. I just think that makes it look really, really lovely because the ivy goes all the way down past the Le Creuset mug. So it kind of gives a bit more of something to this kitchen. And you can never go wrong with a little bit of greenery in your home. So in this tall cupboard, we have just got our boiler, our vacuum, our a sweeper, broom, and our washing lines. And then as you come over here, we have got this Virgin Pure water machine. I love this, this is also our kettle. We have got our Amazon Alexa up there. We have got an espresso coffee machine here. A little uh, butter dish. And then as we go further around, I don't really like to have anything out on my worktops. So as you can see, I have just got my fruit basket, some eggs, and some utensils that are Nigella Lawson utensils. And then we have got my frames. I just think these look so great on the wall. And then over here, we have got our sink. Right, so for those of you who have watched my channel before, you'll know that I like to have everything in its place, tucked away, I'm quite like a minimalist person. So my kitchen is the same. And I have got all integrated appliances in my kitchen. So I just thought I'd go through and show you a couple of my um, kind of storage solutions, how I have stored things away and where I put my appliances. So over here under the water machine and by the boiler, we have got my washing machine. Then moving around here, I thought I'd show you guys my cupboard with my toaster in it. I've got my toasting machine, I've got my Nutribullet and like my kitchen aid. So that's a really great cupboard that just kind of hides everything. In this corner unit, I have got all of our like pots and pans. This is like our excess and overflow pots and pans for Christmas and hosting. Then moving on, we have got the dishwasher. So one of my favorite cupboards, which is so strange, is actually our bin cupboard. So on one side, we've got our recycling, which needs emptying. And the other side, we have got our black bin liner, which again needs emptying. But I love the way that these two are just hidden away. You can't see any stinky bins around the house and no one actually even thinks that the bins are in these cupboards. So that is the best storage solution ever. Right, and heading over here, we have got this wall of tall units. So we have just got like a larder unit in here with all of my like tins and things. And in this one, we have all of our plates and cups. This one is for our fridge. And this last one here is also a larder unit too. So I don't know if you guys had seen this before in any of my videos, but this was kind of like propped up somewhere random in the house. And then my friend said to me, why don't you put it on the wall? So I just think that looks really, really good there. It's quite a nautical mirror. And, um, but when you see it, because it's like concave or convex, is that convex or concave? <laughs> I can't remember. Right, so moving on to my island worktop, as you can see, I haven't really got anything on there apart from this candle, the um, like reed sticks and this spoon holder. To me, this just looks really clean and really kind of fresh. I have got so many drawers in my kitchen. So I have got just loads of utensils and bits and bobs. I've got coffee cups. I've got a drawer full of coffee and tea. And then in this middle section, I have got all of my knives and forks. And then I have got my um, pans and saucepans and my chopping boards and then all of my Tupperware. Over here we have got all of our spices. Yep, that needs another clean out. We have then got like another drawer that needs a clean out. And finally, look at this one. I showed you guys this drawer ages ago that was just piled high with stuff and I actually got round to sorting it out. Right, so that's the end of my kitchen tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it's given you a bit of inspiration of what to do in your kitchen. Definitely head over to Senio's website and have a look at all their different prints. They have so many to choose from. Just choosing the four that I did, it was so difficult. So actually talking about that, I'm just gonna quickly show you the two that I got in my office. This one is a Love Warrior one and on her shoulder she has Wild Child tattooed. This has actually made me really want to get a tattoo. These prints for me are really inspirational so when I'm sitting here doing my work, I just love looking up at them and they just make me happy. Thank you so much again for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I I will see you next time. Bye.